In this video, we'll explore techniques for identifying, categorizing, and mapping stakeholders in order to ensure effective engagement and project success. Identifying and analyzing stakeholders is a critical step in project management. Without a clear understanding of who your stakeholders are and what they need, projects can quickly go off track. Stakeholders can range from team members and managers to clients and external partners, each with their own set of interests and influence over the project. To begin with, let us explore the first process for identifying stakeholders, brainstorming sessions. This involves gathering your project team and other key individuals to list all potential stakeholders. This collaborative approach ensures that no important stakeholder is overlooked. For example, in a construction project, stakeholders might include architects, engineers, local government officials, and community members. By involving diverse perspectives, you can create a comprehensive list of stakeholders. Once stakeholders have been identified, the subsequent step involves analyzing them. The Power Interest Grid serves as an effective tool for this purpose. This tool assists in prioritizing stakeholders by categorizing them into four groups, high power, high interest, high power, low interest, high interest, low power, and low interest, low power. Each group necessitates a distinct engagement strategy. For instance, stakeholders with high power and high interest need to be closely managed and kept well informed, whereas those with low power and low interest require minimal attention. Employing this approach helps ensure that resources are allocated efficiently and positive relationships are maintained with all stakeholders. Following this, we will explore the second stage of our process, stakeholder mapping. This visual tool helps you identify and categorize stakeholders based on their influence and interest in the project. Stakeholder mapping typically involves creating a matrix with influence on one axis and interest on the other. Stakeholders are then plotted on this matrix, allowing you to see who has the most power and who is most affected by the project. For instance, in a software development project, high influence stakeholders might include the project sponsor and key clients, while high interest stakeholders could be end users and customer support teams. Let's shift our focus to another useful analysis tool, the Stakeholder Influence Diagram. This tool helps you understand the relationships and influence dynamics between stakeholders. By mapping out these connections, you can identify potential conflicts and alliances. For example, in a healthcare project, you might find that doctors and nurses have a strong influence on each other, while patients have less direct influence. Understanding these dynamics allows you to develop strategies to manage stakeholder interactions and ensure smooth project progress. Looking at our influence diagram, we can see the key relationships in project stakeholder management. The project sponsor provides direction and resources to the project manager who plays a central role in the project. The project manager directly manages the project team, ensuring work gets done according to plan. External stakeholders, including clients and end users, influence project decisions through their feedback and requirements. Understanding these relationships will help you manage communication channels effectively and ensure project success through proper stakeholder engagement.